Hi there, welcome to the Reynolds Report. Time to look at who's on the hot seat after week 10 in the NFL. At number five, I'm going to put uh, Marvin Lewis of the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, the Bengals played the Titans tough this past weekend, uh, but they still are three and six on the season. I feel like his message has grown stale in Cincinnati. And Vontez Perfect, their linebacker, was ejected from the game for shoving an official. And you think, well, this is just... This is just the Bengals. This is what they do. It's never going away. Their ill discipline uh, follows them from season to season. And when that happens, you've got to look at the head coach. So I'm going to give Marvin Lewis number five on our list. Dirk Cutter of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers finally enjoyed a win. They beat the New York Jets. Uh, but this is still a lost season. It feels like a lost season for the Bucs. Dirk Cutter is three and six uh, in Tampa this year. And I feel like that is an ownership group that is never very patient when it comes to their head coaches. Uh, so I think Dirk may be moved on before the end of the season. Certainly his seat is warming. Uh, as is Eli Manning's. Uh, with the New York Giants, the quarterback of the New York Giants. Eli started his 208th consecutive game on Sunday in San Francisco, but he looks a shadow of his former self. And this is a time when I think the desperation of Ben McAdoo and the need to see young players could see the Giants move on to Davis Webb, their young quarterback. So I think that Eli's seat is certainly warming. Uh, number two, I'm going to say Hugh Jackson of the Cleveland Browns. They're 0-9 on the season now. 1-24 since the start of last season. They cannot buy a win. Hugh puts out a team that gives effort, but they find ways to lose. And just before half time, there's 15 seconds left. They have no timeouts. They call a quarterback sneak on the goal, on, goal line. Deshaun Kaiser gets stuffed. And they don't get any points. And that's just on the coach there. I think that's bad play calling. So Hugh Jackson, you're going to remain on this list with a nod to your front office because those guys have not helped you out as we've discussed before. And number one on the list is Ben McAdoo. I think he's lost the team. I feel like the players have given up. There was a play in San Francisco on Sunday night where Eli Manning rolled out of the pocket and kind of jogged, 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 jogged to the sidelines. There was about three or four minutes left. They're down by 11 and he just lofts the ball out of bounds to live to fight another day, but not at that stage of the game, Eli. You've got to fight and put it on the line for your team. This team is not fighting for this coach, and the Giants don't make many moves uh, at head coach or many rash moves, but they've got to make one here. They've got to move on from Ben McAdoo.